let's bring a Triumph Tiger through the Simpson, they said. It will be fun, they said. Oh, Mark's going for lots of speed. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> if I was out here on my own, I'd be dead. <laughs> That's why we're not out here on our own. Correct. This is the most Aussie pub in Australia. Old mate, old mate DJ slash slash bartender here just bought me a Jack and Coke. It was jacked to like. And just coke for colour. The the bartender gets your order wrong. He skulls it. He just necks it right there. Give it back in the same glass. Don't wash glasses, man. If you want a clean glass, you can piss I off, mate. Get out of that side. I'm drinking this. I got another shot. This is a real. Oh, one at a time, please. Oh, what happens when you run out of Jack? Perfecto. Then we freaking go to the next oh, one, mate. What happens when I run out of Jack? You don't have, you got more Jack. No, you drink something else. Ah. That's it, that's it, mate. Jamison Gin. What was that? Captain Morgan's. What's that? What's that? Lemon vodka. That's Jamison's Gin. Captain Morgan's and orange vodka. Who's drinking that freaking? You are. No, no, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's got Bailey's. This old mate loves Bailey's. Oh, here he is, mate. You got the special drink. Only 28.60. Me shiver with every. Oh, monkey! Oh. Alright, let's do this. Something touched me deep inside the day. The moon. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys, we're drinking whiskey and dry, singing so lumpy. <laughs> neck it, neck it. Neck it! I was about to go! Woo! See, if we weren't riding 500Ks tomorrow, <laughs> I'd be enjoying this bar even if more. We weren't, we're not. Yeah, we're not now. We're not now. No, no, no. Ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. uh, we're getting we're getting close on this trip, aren't we? Too close. You know what? I don't care. I'm on a riding with Tom video, and I love this guy. Wait, wait, wait. Howdy, partners. How's it going, barkeep? My name's Riding with Tom. What would you like? Can I get a shot of Jack Daniels, please? No worries. I can do that for you, partner. <laughs> it's right there. It's right there, Mark. Okay. Just a halfy, a halfy. A fully. A halfy. I'll take it away. Nope. Whoa. Person in this pub. I am the most sober person in this pub. <laughs> some good, some good spring, isn't it? We're in the hot spring. Pumps out of a natural heated spring at 80 something degrees. Heats up this little pool and it is lovely. Mmm. Just sit in this all day. I'd get nothing done if I lived here. Because this is endless. It doesn't cost you any money. Yeah, it's riding his KTM into the spring. You're flying too close. Wheelie to into it. Get away from God. Get away from the hose. Get away from the hose. The almighty hose. Hose is now God. It provides us life. You've had your time with the hose. <laughs> Give me my time. That's it. This is the rest of our trip. The rest of our trip is just going to be in this spring. <laughs> this delightful hot spring. I can't get Nerb set up camp. Stay here. Start cooking us food. We'll eat it in the swamp. 
<laughs> we're swamp people now. Come see the swamp people. Feel me, feel me. So where are we going, Nerb? We're going to get to at least Murray, which is only 200 kilometers down the road. But only 200 k's. We're up here. We want to get down to here and then find somewhere to camp. But we've got two sickly little kids here. What's this town called, Nerb? Munjerani. Munjerani. Come to Munjerani and get shit faced. It is a great bar. It is a great bar. But you just got to... Control yourself. Control yourself. <laughs> All right, gents, out here in the middle of freaking out back. We're gonna do a couple of little wheelies. Feel a good time. I will do a wheelie for uh, my mate Moto Frogger. Over the cattle grid? Alright. Cattle grid's about what? 100 meters away? We can wheelie over it, let's do it. Over the cattle grid. There you go, motor frogger. I'm wheelie king. Wheelie king. I just like that. That shadow is good. Be a good thumbnail or something. Bastard. You're freaking huge, mate. Look how big he is. Should I chase him? Let's go say good day to him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at his bloody gentleman parts. Oh, I'll stop pissing you off, cow. Sorry. Stop being a dickhead. I'll come back. Okay. Still down. Oh shit, bits of freaking bike everywhere. Oh, it's a Triumph! It's a Triumph Tiger! I thought it was a Beamer! That's... Do you need some parts? Yeah, you want... Where's the... Oh, there's no front fender! <laughs> we had a windscreen mount! Shit! Yeah, it's the same piece! Oh, he's lost the back wheel! The... Yeah, he must have had a blowout! He probably didn't walk away from it, man! He was probably just picked up! That's a big stack! He's broken his handlebars, so yeah. that's a big crash. No. He could be dead. You'd be stealing from a dead guy. No. Don't steal his shit. Shit. I don't want to get a freaking puncher now. That's scary. Old gents, this is where we're camping. Oh shit, how do I get off? Get off. Ugh. Tents are getting set up. We've got a hot spring just over there. We're gonna jump in that. After we cook up some food. Campfire's roaring. Bikes are a bit muddy. We had to go through a couple little creeks to get out here. There's Nerb's tent. There's Mark's $30,000 tent. <laughs> just two bikes and a tarp. Smoker's tent and my tent. Best tent there is. MSR Haber NX. Great tent. Super lightweight. And my bike muddy. Yep. Enjoy our night. How you feeling, Mark? Better? Much better. Bit of a ride helps. Ride and lots of water. That's it. Cures any hangover. I will show you what we've been doing all night. Out in the middle of the desert, it's ice cold at night time. It's freezing. What do they have here? The best thing in the freaking planet. I'm gonna show you what it is. They have, which runs off a natural hot spring, a tub that's full of piping hot water. 
don't know if you can see that, but it's just a big freaking black circle. You can see the steam going off it. Middle of the desert. That's freaking awesome. Just look up at the stars. Freezing hot, freezing cold. Sit in the piping hot bath. We just sat in it for about a freaking hour and a half. It's great. Great place to have a freaking chat. Camp's all packed up. Bike's all packed. My bag's all snug. Ugh. Yellow bag's got everything. Everything in it. It's getting bigger though. I don't know how. Eating food and stuff, it's getting bigger. So where are we going to today, Nerb? Nerb son. Flinders Rangers. We get down there easily today. Flinders Rangers. On a good camping site, set up for a couple of days. What kind of riding is Flinders Rangers? I have no idea. I've never been there. It, all I hear that is, is that it's good. It's good? Done. I'll take that. <laughs> Flinders Rangers. That's where we'll be today. Let's do it. All these other adventure bikes that are here are all from the ADVX ride. It's about 200 of them that went to the Fink race and then were going to go across the Simpson, but as I've said, the Simpson has just been destroyed. So only about half of them went to try the Simpson and the other half freaking, freaking coming through the other side like we are. Almost got killed by those two emus over there. Stupid emus. Mark almost hit one. Yeah. It ran between you and him. Yeah, they just ran across them. Yeah. Scared the <laughs> crap out of me. We restocked. Just outside of the Flinders Rangers. Bought a new sleeping bag. It's so freaking cold. Everyone's freaking freezing. It's like if you have a sleeping bag that says it's good down a, down a zero. It's not good down a zero, man. It doesn't work. Yeah, my sleeping bag's rated to a comfort level of zero. And we've hit zero a few times and it's not been comfortable. All right, just found a track, Flinders Rangers. We're gonna hit it up. This is good, over sand. Where I belong in the dirt. Got about 20 litres of extra fuel on the back. It's making it a little tricky to go quick. Pretty good, uh, pretty good little dirt road this one. Fun, very rocky though. I don't really want to come off. I have a lot of body armor on. As we were meant to be just crossing Simpson. Nerve smashing on the 1190. 1190 might not be so good in the sand, but it's still pretty good out here. Our first mechanical woes. Motocross bike's a bit under the power and blowing a bit of smoke. It says it's not sounding right as well, so. So you think it's the piston ring? Uh, could, could be anything. anything but... Just having a look at this Modica's air filter. Guess Sandy, that bitch is. I'm to try and get it out of there. Ooh, there's oil all through it. Yeah, it's meant to be oiled. No, 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 engine oil. Oh, no, that's not good. Sit wrap. Osmodica's bike is, looks like it's all right, actually. Um, he did lose half a litre of oil uh, freaking very quickly, but um, it's not blowing smoke or anything and it's still running, so hopefully it's alright.
number two. Um, yeah, Mark's bike I think is screwed. I could smell smoke. It's now kind of overheating when we're just babying. Um, really shouldn't be overheating. Should be doing the exact same thing mine is. So. Um, so we think there is something wrong with it. We're just getting to the town up here. It's about 10 k's out. It's got a service station, so we'll be able to freaking have a good look at it. Um, probably set up camp there and uh, I'll rip the thing apart. See if we can fix it so we can ride it home. Otherwise, you'll have to freaking find some transport to get it home because we're still in um we're still in South Australia, like over a thousand kilometers away from home so you know, a bike that's using up oil that quickly you don't want to freaking you can't ride it home so hopefully we can get it going because i don't know it's going to be difficult to get it back to melbourne oh kidna he dug himself in i can see him hello little friend can't dig himself in because it's just rocks. Hello. I don't want to freak him out, but I'm not picking him up. I'm not going to pick him up. I'll hurt his eyes. Hello. Okay. Sun setting, guys. This is where I'm going to be. We're going to be camping. Nice little spot near a creek. Uh, I'm going to set my tent up right there, in the middle of the Flinders Ranges, there's all these big mountains on the side, looks like there's a little creek bed down here, that's just going to be the freaking kitchen tonight I'm guessing, got a creek bed, hopefully you should be able to find some wood, get a fire going, cook up some steaks and sausages, it's going to be great.